I've got another great photography uh, and Photoshop tip for you today. Um, today we'll be going over how to darken the background of your photograph. So just so you can kind of get an idea of um, what we'll be going over in this tutorial, I've got a group of um, commands or steps that I've taken to achieve this look. So this is the before. And then once we're finished with the tutorial, this is what our photograph will look like, okay? And again, we're doing all of these steps by hand, so you can learn how to do that uh, in Photoshop, step by step. Okay, so I'm, uh, and this is a compilation of uh, three different steps here that we're going to go ahead and take. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just turn this uh, group off so we can start from scratch. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is duplicate my background layer. Now I can do that either by dragging it down to this uh, little paper uh, square looking icon at the bottom, or I can simply go to layer, duplicate layer. And here you can name your layer. I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay. So now I've, that I've got my layer duplicated, I'm going to change the blending mode. So right here uh, is our different blending modes. I'm going to select multiply. Okay, notice how the picture got quite a bit darker, okay, before and after. I'm going to go ahead uh, and first I'm going to adjust the opacity, okay, and I like it right around 60%. Now, obviously, we don't want the, the darkening to appear on our subject, so I'm just going to go ahead and brush that off here. Um, now, in order to brush off uh, an effect, I need to have a layer mask. I don't have one right now. So in order to create a layer mask, I can either click on this little icon down here at the bottom, or I can go to Layer. Uh, let's see here, layer mask, and I'm going to select reveal all. Okay, so now I've got my white layer mask. Now I go through this in quite a bit of tutorials, but just to, to go over uh, and brush through layer masks real quick here, white, uh, when we're looking at layer masks, white reveals and black conceals. So our layer mask here is this little white square. The entire um, effect is being revealed. I want to conceal the, the darkening that's happening here on my subject. So I'm going to select black as my foreground color. I've got my paintbrush selected. If you don't see it, just right click. You might have a pencil tool or something else selected. And the opacity of my brush is at 100%. I want to remove 100% of this effect from my subject. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to bring my brush down to about 50% and larger it a bit and just brush around her. There we go. So now that I've um, I brushed that off of my subject, I might want to play with the opacity again just a little bit to make sure it looks natural. And I'm still going to keep that right around uh, 50%. I really like that. Okay. So next, we're going to go over how to add a little bit of light around the subject now that we've gotten our, our background uh, layer darkened. So in order to do that, I'm going to select Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and we're going to Levels. Again, I'm, I'm not going to name it. You can go ahead and name it um, whatever you wish. And I'm just going to bring the lightness up to 1.10. Okay, with our middle slider here. Um, and there we go. So again, we've got a built-in layer mask this time. Okay, I want to conceal the, the lightness that I've added to the photograph around my subject. I still want those dark edges. So to conceal, I've got my black set as a foreground color. I've still got my brush selected. I'm going to move the opacity up to 100%. I'm just going to paint around the edges of my photograph to conceal that uh, lightness that I had just added. Okay, and notice how you can see over here on the layer mask, the black, and I've kind of, I've missed a few spots around the edges, so I'm just going to go over that again. There we go. Okay, and there we go, that's looking good. So now I can actually play with the opacity of the layer here. 
I don't want her to be too bright, so I'm going to keep that right around 40%. Okay, so I've got a really nice look. Uh, one last thing that I'm going to do is run one of my actions from the Rich and Bold collection. Uh, I've got a Moody brush, which does um, something similar to what we had just done to the background here with the darkening effect. Um, it just does that with a click of your mouse, so it's really easy and simple to use. I'm going to run the Airy brush, which is really great at manipulating light. Okay, so I'm going to hit continue. And my brush is at 100% and I can always adjust the opacity later on. I just want to make it look like I've got light streaming in from the side of my photograph here. I'm going to bring down the opacity just a touch. Okay, and if you think you added a little bit too much, you can always cover some of that up by switching your foreground color to black. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the before and after. See how it looks like the light is just streaming in on the side of my photograph here? Now I'm just adjusting the opacity, and we're going to leave that right around 46%. Okay, so let's go ahead and group our... Um, we're going to group our different layers here into uh, a new group selection. Uh, so I'm going to name this darken background. Even though we did a little bit more than just darkening the background, I love to throw out as many photography tips as I can during those tutorials. But this is our before image and the after using the steps, uh, three simple steps that we had just taken here. Um, first, we darken the background layer by um, uh, duplicating the background layer and selecting multiply. We had lightened our subject and then manipulated the light a bit by running our airy brush with the Rich and Bold collection. Um, so thanks so much for tuning in to this week's tutorial.